my girlfriend said, Curtis, your shit in bed is really beginning to smell. <laughs> Please clean the duvet. Uh, but you know, um, she's always hounding at me to get a better job as well. Um, so I started looking at these um, motivational phrases that are meant to push you in the world of work. Found one that said, don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job you want. I thought that's really good. And I work in an office, and I've always wanted to be an astronaut. Um, I got fired, um, which made things worse for my girlfriend because she said, um, while you're not contributing towards the bills, um, I will get to choose what you watch on the telly. I said, fine, what are you watching? She said, Downton Abbey. I said, what's that? She said, it's a period drama. I said, that's all a period ever is. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, she does have this um, fixation thinking like, um, <clears throat> that I'm sexist, no, I'm really not, you know, some of my best friends are black. Um, <laughs> she, uh, like, like one time, it was totally innocent, I said, um, uh, oh, did you hoover up today? I, it was generally like a, a nice thing, and she said, oh, you're a male chauvinist pig. You're a male chauvinist pig. But what I realised about women that call men male chauvinist pigs is that they're all sort of sensitive feminist bitches. Um, <laughs> But, you know, um, she, she did decide to cut ties, and at that point I said, why are you cutting up all of my ties? <laughs> and she said, well, for the last week you've been dressed like an astronaut, so I don't think you wanted them. Um, but we, we did break up in the end, and it's, it's a fair question, what, why did we break up? Um, and it's what I asked her, and she said, well, you keep shit in the bed, don't you? So, <laughs> it's fair enough. Um, but she, she, was a, she, she was a Catholic, um, still is, um, to my dismay, because in real life she's still my girlfriend. Um, but she, she, um, she used to try and force her beliefs onto me. Um, but well, that annoyed me, because other groups of people don't do it. You know, smokers don't try and get people to smoke. Um, though if you are, an, uh, you are a smoker and you need an excuse, I asked my best friend why he smoked, and he gave the best answer possible. I said, why do you smoke? He said, to be honest with you, mate, just makes me feel like a dragon. <laughs> and you can't argue with that sort of logic. Um, he, he, was, he, he once had a bad experience with drugs though, and I'm not necessarily into that sort of thing. Um, he had a bad experience on LSD. And he, I said, don't worry, don't worry, we can look online for help, by which I meant something like talktofrank.com. I found him on TripAdvisor. <laughs> Um, but you know, there's other groups as well that I can totally tolerate, don't bother me. Fat people, they don't try and force their habits onto others. In fact, I know many fat people that will take food off my plate for me <laughs> uh, without asking. Um, but you know, religious groups are a bit different. For example, you get Jehovah's Witnesses that go door to door canvassing, uh, promoting their beliefs. And that annoys me because they'll come to your door and say, knock, 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 and you go, hi. And they go, hi, do you believe in God? And I say, no. And they say, well, I'm going to read you um, some of the Bible anyway if you've got five minutes. I said, stop right there. You wouldn't like it if I started forcing my habits onto you. Knock, knock, knock. Hi there. Do you like wanking? <laughs> they say, not particularly. And I say, well, have you got five minutes? <laughs> I'll give you some jizz anyway. <laughs> Sorry, front row. Um,